Aloha everyone and welcome to the Kilauea Eruption and Leilani Estates update for August 20th, 2018. Things are still relatively quiet in the lower east rift zone and up on the summit. However, uh, there is some new imagery available uh, and uh, there is a, a photo that's being um, questioned as to what does it mean. So we're going to address that. But first we're going to read the very simple and very short uh, USGS report. The USGS reports for Monday, August 20th, 2018 at 1.52 p.m. Hawaii Standard Time that seismicity and ground deformation are negligible at the summit of Kilauea Volcano. On the volcano's lower east drift zone, only a few ocean entries are oozing lava. Lace plumes are minimum. Sulfur dioxide emission rates at both the summit and lower east drift zone are drastically reduced. The combined rate is lower than at any time since late 2007. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory will continue to closely monitor Kilauea's seismicity, deformation, and gas emissions for any sign of reactivation and maintain a visual surveillance of the summit and lower east rift zone. HVO will continue to issue daily updates and additional messages as needed. The next status report will be issued tomorrow morning unless significant changes occur. And that does it for the USGS report. Like I said, pretty short and simple. Um, things are still quiet. The uh, current volcano alert level is still at watch. Um, however, the before we get to the photo that's in question, uh, I want to take a quick look at the uh, earthquake maps and let's see what's going on there. I haven't actually looked at it myself, so this is going to be kind of uh, interesting for me to see if there's been any changes. Looking at the earthquake map, we see with the settings at one day all magnitude that there has been no quakes in the lower east rift zone, which is this area through here. Um, this is the, the middle, middle East Rift Zone, and of course, this is the uh, Kilauea Volcano Summit Crater area. And as you can see, uh, even up here, we've had a, an earthquake today. Um, it was only a 2.1. Uh, it's probably just some rock slides and things going on there. Uh, down here, um, 2.7, and uh, the next one was a 2.0, and this little one right here is 1.7. So this is you know, pretty par for the course, you know, what we normally see here for volcanic activity. Uh, so that, that's all a good sign. So um, moving over to seven days all magnitude. Uh, yes, we, we know that. Uh, we see, so in the last six days, you know, these over here occurred, uh, but in the last day, there's been none over here. So um, yeah, it looks like things are pretty quiet for the most part. So nothing really to report there. And that'll pretty much do it for the general update for tonight. And now for a quick update on Hurricane Lane, the second hurricane so far that we've had to really be on the watch for. Um, hurricane Lane currently is located south uh, southeast of uh, the Big Island of Hawaii. However, due to the sheer size of it, uh, you can see here in this image that uh, one of the outer rain bands on the north is uh, actually big enough to swipe, you know, the big island. And uh, so we are expecting some, some wind and, and rain from this. Um, as it passes uh, just south of the island, it is expected to take a northerly turn and bring it up to the north northwest of the island chains. Um, that's the probability maps. Don't really know for sure. Uh, currently, so far, uh, we've had no significant weather impact from it. Uh, but as it gets closer and makes that northerly turn, uh, it, it will uh, basically be big in, or it's big enough that the outer bands of the hurricane will uh, impact the, the southern, uh, western, and eastern uh, areas of the Big Island. And as um, it travels further north northwest, uh, the, the east side of the storm will, of course, affect uh, the western side of uh, most of the other islands, depending which or which you know route it takes. So we just got to wait and see on this one as well. Um, kind of interesting how both the volcano and the hurricane always has that little disclaimer. We just have to wait and see. Now for our favorite little segment, uh, and also the photo that I alluded to earlier that is in question that we're going to discuss. So let's get to it and uh, look at that there. 
in this photo what I want you to take a look at that there is is right there in the middle the, the two little red dots uh, that is uh, holes in the uh, solidified lava and this is what the USGS says about this photo this morning USGS scientists flying over fissure 8 noticed a change in the vent from yesterday gas jets were throwing spatter fragments of glassy lava the light gray deposits from small incandescent areas deep within the cone. This activity is an indication that the lower east drift zone eruption may be paused rather than pow over. Pow is a Hawaiian word for over, done, uh, etc. Um, so yeah, very interesting. Uh, now, here's what I think. And please remember this is my opinion. It's not endorsed by any official sources or whatever. This is just the way I interpret things and, and what I think it, 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 this means. Um, what I think this is is not necessarily an indication that it's a, a pause versus being complete uh, because no one can really say either way. Uh, what this is an indication is that there is dissolved gas in the, the magma that is still under fissure 8 and in the, the rift zone it's still molten and this gas is going to want to uh, escape uh, just like it does when, when you know it flows and erupts. Uh, so this could just be where gas is, is finally collected enough to create enough pressure to, to break through through uh, the thin little crusted over area because you gotta remember that the lava or excuse me the magma in the system is still molten it's still hot and it's only the surface right here and since this is the the end of the conduit you know for now um, the, the, the the cap over here isn't going to be feet and feet feet thick it, it's going to be inches you know six seven inches maybe and you know that's you know with it being hot and molten on one side and, and cooling and cracking on the other you know yeah it's, it's going to crack open at time when when pressure builds up enough from a gas pocket or something and this may be what we're seeing you know happen here that's my opinion um because if there was any pressure behind it i, I think we would see more than spattering uh so in my opinion i think the only way that we're going to see reactivation is if one of a few things happen uh one we see another collapse event at the summit which would apply pressure to you know any uh, magma that's still in the reservoir and scored it down the east rift zone uh, or two you know we see a collapse somewhere in the, the rift zone uh, which again applies pressure to to the magma and squirts it you know down and, and out fissure eight or wherever again or or three there's an infusion of new magma from the source into the system and repressurizing it that way um, because right now, if there was enough pressure to cause an eruption, uh, it would be bubbling up out of those holes and not just spattering, you know, like, you know, the, the little, uh, you know, like, well, carbon dioxide escaping from, you know, a, a soda or something, you know, sitting there bubbling and, you know, and, you know, spattering the little drops of liquid, you know, up around the rim of the glass, etc. You know, I mean, so, yeah. So that's my opinion anyways. Okay, and that'll do it for, look at that there sorry just won the photo uh it's only a new photo I, I am working on other things however uh, i had mentioned that uh, i was going to do about a 10 minute uh segment of just a look at that there uh i'm going through some of the the beginning stuff and uh I, i'm taking a, a look at that and seeing what i can find at, uh to look at that there at found a few interesting things so far but uh We'll talk about that later. Uh, what I want to talk about now is this uh, new little map graphic that you've been seeing during this video. It's Google Earth. Thank you, Google. Uh, and I have been able to import uh, the GIS data onto uh, the Google Earth map. And uh, I've gotten some interesting little control over how I display the data. So why I'm showing this map now, and we'll be using this in any future updates that come out, uh, is because I'm going to utilize this in a whole new video uh, segment that I've decided to do. Uh, it's going to be about 10-12 minutes long and I will probably only put out one episode of it uh, per week because uh, it's going to be a little bit more complicated and take a little bit longer uh, to, to put together. But basically what we're going to do is we're going to go back to the very beginning, uh, the very first uh, lava eruption. We're going to take a look at it uh, and where it erupted. And uh, we're going to see what things looked like before. And then we're going to look 
uh, at things, you know, from the photo and video archives that I have access to, uh, as to how they were during the eruption. Uh, I think y'all are going to enjoy it, and it's going to be pretty cool. So that's pretty much what this graphic's about. Uh, I'll let you uh, imagine what exactly and how I'm going to do it. But uh, again, like I said, I'm sure you'll enjoy it. So that's that. So um, remember, if you haven't uh, clicked the subscribe button or the bell icon, you may want to do so. So when I post these videos, uh, you'll get notified instantly about it and, and we'll know it's available. Also, don't forget to uh, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video, because I, I really hope you did. Um, also, leave me a comment, any ideas, any inclusions you may want me to include in some of these, these new segments I'm going to do. Uh, leave them in the comments. Uh, let me know what you think. And uh, don't forget to, to share this on your favorite social media platform, Facebook, Twitter, things like that. And uh, we also got the Mongoose t-shirts, which are available on my Redbubble. Uh, link will be at the end of the video. And uh, also links for Smug Mug, Redbubble, Twitter, and, and, and all that wonderful stuff is, is in the description. So go take a look at that there. And that'll do it for tonight. Thank you for watching and listening. You have a fantastic morning, afternoon, or evening. This has been the Kilauea Eruption and Leilani Estates update for August 20th, 2018.